Happy Pride Month, Barrington. I'm Emma Poplinski. And I'm Ari McCallum. We've got a really exciting episode of BHS TV today. That's right, Ari. Today we're going to be taking a look at BHS TV's first ever episode in celebration of Pride Month. We've got some great stuff in store. Let's check it out. We're sending it over to Anna Hawk with ways to celebrate Pride and support the LGBT community during quarantine. There are lots of things that you can do to celebrate Pride this month and all year long. First, educate yourself. Maya Angela once said, I have great respect for the past. If you don't know where you come from, you don't know where you're going. Pride Month commemorates the 1969 Stonewall Riots in Greenwich Village, New York. Why not hit the road and visit the National Park, which is the first monument to honor the LGBTQ struggle for equal rights in the United States? If you prefer to stay home, the website Stonewall Forever shows you the history of the monument, including what life was like before and after the riots. Take a little time to learn about the movement's leaders, such as Marsha Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, and Harvey Milk, the first openly gay government official who received daily death threats and was assassinated in 1978. His killer got off with what was known as the Twinkie defense, claiming he ate too much junk food that day and couldn't be held accountable for his crimes. Sean Penn turned in an Academy Award-winning performance playing Harvey in the 2008 Gus Van Sant movie Milk, which is definitely worth a watch. You can also tune in to Always Here, Queer as Fact, and other great podcasts for LGBTQ history that is not currently taught in school. Visit bustle.com for a complete listing. Start using inclusive terms. This month and onward, make a commitment to start using language that is more inclusive of the people around you. By learning appropriate terminology and respecting pronouns, you're showing through words and actions that you're truly working toward making this world a more accepting space for everyone. Learn more at GLAD's Allies Guide to Terminology. Be an ally. One of the greatest things you can do to celebrate Pride Month is to become an LGBTQ activist and ally. Make the commitment to fight oppression, provide support, and do your part to create a safer environment for our LGBTQ folks in the community. Be there for our friends and family members who may be struggling to come out. Celebrate Pride! In-person parades might be canceled this year, but you can still join in the virtual celebration. Global Pride will feature world leaders, drag queens, and pop stars coming together to celebrate diversity through music, speeches, art, and more. The event will be live streamed at globalpride2020.org or on social media, hashtag Global Pride. Other cities are hosting online rallies and virtual parades all month long, so do a quick search and join the celebrations. Murals celebrating LGBTQ life will be coming to Chicago this summer, including to the Magnificent Mile. The city will begin installing works by Chicago artist and Columbia College grad Sam Kirk this month with others following through July. The murals will be on display through September. Fly the flag. The rainbow pride flag has been a symbol of the LGBTQ community since 1978. The colors represent life, red, healing, orange, sunshine, yellow, nature, green, magic, blue, spirit, purple. Displaying your flag and wearing inclusive and colorful clothing sends a message of solidarity, safety, and support to LGBTQ members of our community. Get involved, donate, and volunteer. There are many nonprofits making a difference in the lives of LGBTQ teens and adults, from media monitoring to suicide prevention, Organizations such as GLAD, The Trevor Project, and Brave Trails are working tirelessly to promote understanding, acceptance, and equality. Donating or volunteering is a great way to show your support. Visit these sites to find out more. Finally, understand the issues and make an impact. Educate yourself about your local, regional, and national LGBTQ legislation. Are there bills that you can support or fight from home? Contact a local or state representative. Sign a petition to support LGBTQ plus justice. If you'll be 18 before November 3rd, register and vote. Use your technology to amplify your support for Pride on social media. Stand up for Pride all year long. 
Thanks, Anna. That was super informative. Oh my god, I need to redo this whole thing. Um, second time's a charm, I guess. Okay, so basically, um, I was having a lot of technical difficulties, so I had to refilm everything, reshoot all my shots, and re edit every single thing. I tried everything I could to save my video, but I did it. I persevered all for you guys and for Pride Month. So please like this video. <laughs> Hey Barrington, it's me and Lummy, and today I'm not going to be talking about trends or fashion, but I'm going to be talking about something far more important, which is love, acceptance, and equality. Because that's what Pride Month is all about. This is a very important month because everybody has the ability to come together, support each other, and celebrate who they are. There's so many things going on right now that mainly stem from people being closed-minded, uninformed, and just not accepting different types of people for who they are as a person. So today, I'm going to help you understand why we celebrate this month and how you can help. Pride Month started because of the Stonewall Riots that occurred at the end of June in 1969. As a result of those riots, Pride events have been held during this month to help recognize the impact that the LGBTQ community has on the world. Pride Month allows you to stand up for what you believe in and accept who you are and being proud of that. A major event that happens during Pride Month are the parades. And most of them have crazy turnouts, with Chicago being one of the biggest ones with over a million people marching. Even in our own community, people are making a difference. Right here in Barrington, in the Fox Point neighborhood, a couple's pride flag was taken down and replaced with an American flag. This was obviously a very disrespectful action that showed that the thief did not support the family, the flag, or the meaning behind it. Because of this, a neighbor of the couple bought four dozen pride flags and put them up in everybody's lawn. This was such a kind and comforting way to show that they're stronger than the negativity and they can all come together and support each other. Also this year, on June 15th, the Supreme Court ruled that it is now illegal to discriminate people based on their gender identity and sexual orientation in the workplace in all states. It's crazy how it took this long for that to happen, but lately so many things have been changing based on discrimination of all different types of things that I'm just glad that we're making a change and accepting every single type of person. Now some ways to help is to just kind of immerse yourself into the culture of it. You can donate, march, listen to supportive music, watch inclusive movies, and read books, articles, and websites explaining it and helping you welcome the idea that people can love who they want to love and believe what they want to believe. I hope this was informative and helped you open your mind to making a change. Happy Pride Month! And to everybody who feels different or not accepted, just know that your community supports you and stands with you. I'm Mia Lummy, and I'll see you next time, Barrington. Oh, let's hope I don't have to redo this again. So I got a flag that says love always wins because love always wins. And you should definitely get one because you're able to support everybody and it looks really nice. So yeah, happy Pride Month! Next, let's take a look at the drive-by Pride with Liv Elias. Hey Barrington, it's Liv Elias and happy Pride Month. Unfortunately, the Pride Parade for downtown Chicago was canceled this year. But that did not stop the town of Buffalo Grove from showing their pride. Many neighborhoods in Buffalo Grove put together a drive-by pride parade where many families decorated their houses. Fortunately, I was able to go to Buffalo Grove's drive-by pride parade and let me tell you, it was pretty cool. Let's take a look. I don't know. And I can't change Even if I tried Even if I wanted to if I was gay, I would think hip-hop hates me. Have you read the YouTube comments lately? Man, that's gay. Gets dropped on the daily. We become so numb to what we're saying. Is it too
Now from those videos, I'm pretty sure you can tell how much effort really went into this event. Buffalo Grove did such an amazing job of showing their pride. Alright guys, that is all I have for you today. I'm Liv Elias, and happy pride! Finally, it's a segment featuring Emma. Here's a look at my interview on People at BHS with Finn Haight. Hello BHS, I'm Finn Haight, here with an episode of People at BHS. Today I'm interviewing Emma Poplinski, one of the presidents of the GSA. Emma, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, so, so Emma, uh, when did you, when and why did you join the GSA? Um, I joined GSA my freshman year, mm -hmm. and I don't remember because I didn't hear about it. Like someone dragged me to a meeting. I think is how I joined it. But yeah. I'm so happy I did because it's just a very like I kept going back every time there was a meeting mm -hmm. since freshman year till now because it's just such an accepting place. And I spent most of my freshman year sort of like questioning my sexuality and like where I am. And it was just a place where I could go and be who I was, regardless that, of what that meant. It, it sounds like a really positive environment. Uh, since 100%. then, yeah, you, you're now the, the, the president or one of the presidents. Um, mm -hmm. So so now as like, what, what, what is that role kind of about? Like, like now that you are president, what does that kind of mean? Um, to me, the reason I applied to be um, one of the board members is it's been such like a wonderful experience for me and such a wonderful place for me to go that I really wanted to make sure I could create a safe space for all of the incoming freshmen and everyone else who wants to join the club. So that's sort of why I um, became president and mm -hmm. since then I hope I've been doing a good job of that. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 you seem very enthusiastic of it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you have been. Um, what the club itself um what, what are some of the things that you guys do in the club so a lot of the club is just giving people a space to go so a lot of mm -hmm. people will go and they might not even you know necessarily participate in whatever we're doing that day but it's just a space where they can go and chill and know that you know regardless of their gender or sexuality they can be accepted but some of the club activities we do we talk a lot about lgbt history mm -hmm. that isn't talked about a lot in um you know, not standard history curriculums. We'll also do, you know, like fun games. Like we had like a LGBT history cahoot um, mm -hmm. this past year and that was fun. Um, and we also were trying this year to have a bake sale that never really ended up happening because, mm. you know, COVID yeah, happened. Yeah. But, um, and we also have speakers from outside organizations. Like this year we had um, a representative from the library come in a lot and they mm. actually did a, they brought like a button maker and they made a bunch of little like pronoun pins and that sort of thing. And I unfortunately was not at that meeting, but I heard a lot of great things about it. Well, that's, that, that's so cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, really, it sounds like a really awesome time, really cool it environment. Is. Um, I mean, we're, we're having this episode right now, I guess, because it is, it, it's Pride Month, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the month of June. Um, do, would you like to talk a little bit about kind of what, what Pride Month means and maybe why it's important that we celebrate it? Oh, yeah, definitely. So first and foremost, we celebrate Pride Month in the month of June because that is when in 1969 the Stonewall riots started. Mm -hmm. And essentially Stonewall um, Inn was a bar, it was a gay bar, and um, it was attacked, like, um, forget the word, it was ambushed by police mm -hmm. and it started um, a multi-day riot for um, gay rights led yeah. by Marsha P. Johnson. And so that's why we celebrate it in the month of June. And it's just, in addition to, you know, celebrating one of the most pivotal moments in LGBT history, it's also just a time for us to really shine and express ourselves because even now in 2020, there is still rampant homophobia. Like just this past week was when it was first federally made that you can't discriminate someone in the workplace and that's yeah. insane it's 2020 you think yeah. that would be done already so it's just a time where we can really be ourselves celebrate our history celebrate who we are well i, I think you it was very eloquently put very uh, <laughs> very well you. said um thank you so much for coming on the show uh it's been great um I, you know it's it's been great, it's been great. yeah thank you for having me on. yeah thank you great job emma that was really cool thanks ari well, it looks like that's all the time we have for this year's Pride Month episode. All good things must come to an end. Anchoring has been a lot of fun, wouldn't you say, Emma? Definitely, Ari. Well, BHS, thanks for tuning in, and happy Pride Month!